All right, DIY Auto Tech here. We're gonna be showing you how to test the current flow to the fuel pump and check how much amperage is being used. So what we got here is a fuel pump relay out of Saturn. And a general, this is exactly what they look like. You have five pins. You've got your 30, 85, 87A, 87, and 86. Now to jumper this, to basically go past the fuel pump relay, you're gonna be jumpering connector 30 and connector 87. And um, rule of thumb, you should always hook up 87 first, then 30, um, just in case you accidentally touch something and it becomes positively charged and you fry out your meter. So we'll be using a digital multimeter set to read, um, what was it, DC amperage? DC amperage, yes. Yeah, DC amperage, as you can see there by that line. And we're going to take our meter leads and we are going to connect them where the actual sensor had previously gone. We have T-pins installed in place so that we can get access to them easier, but they're in the 87 and 30 slot. So what he's doing is he's touching both the positive and the negative leads to the terminals, and we're going to get a reading of what our amperage drop is, or amperage draw is, and we're getting about 3.87 to 3.90 amperage drop or amperage draw to the fuel pump. So that would be the number we're looking for. Whether or not that's to spec, I have no idea. But you can go online and check with the manufacturer, all data, or Mitchell On Demand to see if those are the actual numbers you want. And if not, you know that you have a bad fuel pump or a bad relay. You guys know you did so the meter. That is exactly how you check it, and we'll see you next time.